Now I'd like to go on to the next graphic and let's linger on this one a moment because this is worth looking at. This is a very strange pair of images. These are two images. They were taken 12 days apart, and this just happened. I mean, this is going on right now. This is where Opportunity is currently parked. And you can see, 12 days apart, a rock just simply appeared in front of us. In fact, we've, we've narrowed the, down the date of its appearance to about a four-day period. This is strange. Um, now, we don't think that anything particularly exotic happened here. The most likely scenario, just uphill, from this location, as we were driving on some bedrock, the Opportunity Rover did a, a kind of a pirouette, we call it a turn in place, but, but drove in such a fashion that it would drag the right front wheel kind of chattering across the ground. And we think that in the process of that wheel moving across the ground, again, this is speculation at this point, that we kind of flicked it, kind of tiddly winked it out of the ground and that it, it moved to the location that, where we see it. We have not found the divot, the hole from which this thing popped out. But the reason for that, we think, is because the place where we believe it came from is currently blocked by the solar arrays. We can't actually see that spot. So soon we're going to maneuver so we can go searching for that spot. But what's interesting about this rock is a couple of things. It appears that it may have flipped itself upside down. And if that's the case, what we're seeing is we're seeing a surface, the underside, of the rock in its original configuration that hasn't seen the Martian atmosphere for perhaps billions of years. And so we're seeing stuff that we don't normally get to see. The rock is small. Um, it is sort of white around the edge outside, and it's got kind of a weird deep red color. Not a Martian kind of red, but, but more a, a, a deep, deep red color uh, in the interior. It looks like a jelly donut. White around the outside, red in the middle. We've looked at it with our microscope. It's clearly a rock. Uh, we've looked at it with our compositional spectrometer, and we're seeing a strange composition different from anything we've seen before. There's a lot of sulfur in it, suggesting a lot of sulfate salts, which might have precipitated out beneath the surface. And in very high concentrations of manganese, more manganese than we've ever seen in a Martian rock, high concentration of magnesium, we're still working this out. We're making measurements right now. So this is an ongoing story of discovery. As I said, Mars keeps throwing new stuff at us, and it's, it's these kind of unexpected discoveries that make this mission continue to be the exciting, fun thing that it is. We have a, uh, an interesting uh, social media question. I think this one's for Steve. It's from William Shatner, and he'd like to know if you've uh, ruled out uh, Martian rock throwers in the case of the jelly donut. I think Martian rock throwers are unlikely, though we're, we'll keep our eyes open for those. Um, we did actually have another scenario, which we're still thinking about. It's the, the smoking hole in the ground hypothesis, as I've called it. We cannot yet rule out the possibility with certainty that there wasn't a freshly formed impact crater nearby, and this is a piece of stuff uh, that was thrown out by, uh, by a, a small impact. But we think the most likely scenario is that that rock wasn't thrown, it wasn't kicked out of a crater, it was flicked out with one of our wheels, and we're going to take a close look at that hypothesis just in the coming days.